start off with, I'm going to be a little bit of a Jeremiah. There's a disaster coming. The end of the world is near. How near, I don't know exactly. But I do believe that there are a number of trends that spell some fairly significant changes uh, in the future in our profession and in the way that we do things. Some of these things come from forces within the industry. Right now we spend over a trillion dollars a year on IT products and at least 40% of that is absolute total waste. Uh, it just, uh, it does not result in any deliverable product, it delivers in products that are late, bloated, over, uh, underutilized, uh, and it, a, a huge cost. I have no problem overestimating the ability of corporate America, at least, to put up with these intolerable costs uh, for, for some time in the future, but sooner or later they're going to say this is economically untenable, particularly as the world's economy uh, becomes more and more suspect. Related to that is that there is somewhere between three and five trillion lines of code out there in the world today. Uh, that's a lot of code. Um, it is approaching the point where nobody has any clue what it is, where it is, what it's doing, why it's doing it, uh, how to fix it. Um, it's just getting immense. So the, the code base itself is becoming untenable. The pace of change that's faced by enterprises, by people that are in business, has been accelerating dramatically over the last 50 years. The pace of change in our ability to respond with IT services and products hasn't even come close to matching that same pace of change. Uh, when I started in this profession in 1968, the average time for a project, uh, to uh, taking all the corporate projects uh, put together, uh, the average time of delivery of a project was just under three years. Uh, the shortest delivery time was measured in, in a year, longest in five or six years. Uh, one of uh, the largest companies in the United States, in fact, the largest privately held company in the United States, a year ago initiated a 10-year, $1 billion project uh, for their IT systems. Uh, the discrepancy in these kinds of things uh, leads to a great deal of inertia. So if you are a young, agile, entrepreneurial kind of a business, or you want, or a big business and you want to be young and